Hello my friends, let's talk about Dauntless. And a quick thank you to all of my subscribers and for my Patreon supporters. This video rated T for Team. Dauntless is a game where you use chunky, Warcraft style weapons and armors to have epic battles with mega fauna sized beasts of terror. I have been a fan of Monster Hunter style games for a long time. I was fascinated when watching early Monster Hunter titles being played by my friends in middle school, but didn't enjoy playing action titles at the time personally. My first game of this type was God Eater Burst, followed by Freedom Wars, which I was playing just as I started this channel. I've also given a significant amount of time to offshoots of this genre, such as the Tokiden series. These games were a gateway for me to feel comfortable challenging games with reputations for extreme difficulty and giant insurmountable bosses such as Dark Souls and Bloodborne. Epic combats punctuated by intense catharsis in apocalyptic settings, rinse and repeat. So when I finally picked up Dauntless just a few weeks ago, I was given pause by how this game's tone so drastically differed from that cycle, and from the game's own marketing. The setting of this game is one in which a new magic element called Aether has ushered the world into a post-apocalyptic era, wherein continents have shattered and float freely in the sky. The weak, haphazard gravity of the planet has allowed new species of megafauna to evolve and wreak havoc. The poor, lowly humans have managed to carve out society once more by hunting these beasts for raw materials with which to make weapons, airships, and other crude technology. Seems pretty standard for the genre. And yet, rather than constantly pushing for greater excitement, the game takes a significant amount of time to be somber and quiet. Before every mission, players are made to watch a scene of the map that the mission will take place on. Orange deserts, green forests, white and blue tundra, running water. The airships very gently glide into the scene and the squad of players land on the island. The most sound that we hear during this sequence are the ambient sounds of nature followed by the sounds of our character's movements. Once the player assumes control, it takes about 5 seconds for the game's music to start playing. And even then, the music is made of light tones that swell and flow, not action music meant to pound on your heartbeat. That sort of music only plays once you encounter the monster. A couple other small design aspects contribute to this stark feeling. For example, the chat box in the bottom left includes one sentence descriptions of where you are and what just occurred in mission. These details invoke a feeling called mono no aware. Mono no aware is a Japanese artistic principle that draws from Buddhist ontology's argument that all things, from common objects to animals and more, are transient processes. They contain no degree of permanence to any extent. Permanence is an illusion created by our sense of perception. That attachment to permanence, in turn, causes suffering. Mono no aware is awareness of how things truly are as transient processes. In Japanese art, it is depicted through the stillness of long, natural scenes. These scenes evoke a dual feeling of simultaneously being happy, enjoying the absolute uniqueness and rarity of this moment, as well as being sad, because you realize you are losing everything to that moment as it passes. It's not the sort of aesthetic you would expect from an action game, and yet it made me remember that there were many moments in other games of this genre before encountering monsters where the game had you sit with only silence and ambient noises. Dauntless is just the first game of this type to really play into that aspect of Mono no Aware which has been with this genre of games from the very beginning.
Thank you for watching my friends. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscription bell down below as well as like and share the video with your friends who you think would enjoy it. We are still a small channel here, so the only way that we can grow this community is with your help. I look forward to seeing you next time, and remember, stay true.